back guys, it's your boy Brother Shield. Today we're going to come back to the PS1 emulator, the FTSE. So, just a quick caveat, I'm mostly going to be focused more on library compared to YouTube. So, that's where most of my videos, at least my main videos is going to be. And today we are going to test out Donald Duck Quack Attack. I haven't played this game in ages, in fact. First time I played this game was on the Dreamcast. So... Now I'm going to be testing a lot more emulators. Uh, so far, I was hoping we don't get as much stutters. Ooh. Yeah, we're still getting stutters. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit surprising. There are a few stutters. Um, this seems to be very a bit common, but I think it's mostly due to the settings, though, or the tablet itself. Uh, because um, normally the, the thing is running, normally the NVIDIA Shield is running very smooth. But for the past couple of uh, years, it has been slowed down. I had to reboot it, etc. So without further ado, I'm going to stop babbling. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give my thoughts on the, how this emulator ran. So without further ado, let's begin. Hurry up, doll. Turn on the TV. It's almost time for Daisy's report. Huh? Okay. And now, please watch this intrepid live report from Daisy, our famous reporter. This is what? Daisy, you're on. the air. Thank you, Robert. I'm actually in the foreign kingdom of Merla, the terrible magician. Now that I've finally found a way to enter his secret temple, we will know what his terrifying new plans are. He's fantastic! We can hear him from here. I'll try to walk up to him without being seen. Try to get closer. Ah! There! There's Murloc! He's working on a very strange machine. Who's there? You'll never get out of here. Ah! Let me go! Let me go! Daisy is in danger! I'm gonna rescue her! I can help you reach Murloc's kingdom with my incredible gyro gamma tubal teleport. I'm coming, Daisy. I'm gonna save you. Hey, he left too soon. At the moment, my machine doesn't have enough power. I need your help. Thank you. 
Do you like my Compacto Spreomatic? It's especially useful when I go on vacation. Anyway, before you get started, let me give you some advice that will help you out on your journey. Just visit all of my Compacto Screenomatics and I'll give you a new piece of information at each one. Just down the road, you'll find some stars. Collect a hundred of these and you'll receive a free life. There are three different kinds of stars. Yellow, blue, and red. The yellow star counts as one star. The blue star is worth five stars. The red star is worth a whopping ten stars. Make sure you collect all of these, Donald. If you pick this up, you'll become Hyper Donald and you'll run faster than lightning. This will also make you feel better when you're hurt. And don't forget about collecting the small images of yourself. This will add a life to your total number of lives. <laughs> Donald, you've completed your first level. From here on in, you'll be on your own. Well, almost. Keep an eye out for the hoppers and flappers. And also, I've created a heli carrier which will help you get to unreachable places. Well, that's all for now. Get
You want to know about these lights? Well, when the yellow light turns on, it means you've completed the level, and when the green light turns on, it means you rescued all my toys from Murloc's evil spell on that level. When the blue light turns on, it means you've beaten Gladstone's record time on that level.
Okay, guys, I'm about to end things here. Man, this is actually crazy. <laughs> so basically, Donald Duck Quack Attack is basically Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> it's hands down Crash Bandicoot, man. But they did the old take on it. I kind of love it. So, you know, we had the um, 2D um, levels. We had the 2D... Um, uh, no, not really 2D. It's still 3D. But we had the uh, sort of like a 2D platform level and the 3D as well as the chasing of the bear. So, this was actually fun. I actually had quite a lot of fun playing this. Um, there were a lot of stutters during the gameplay and uh, there were a lot of... Uh, uh, in fact, during the very early on, during the pre-rendered cutscene, that's where the stutters were the most. But during gameplay, it ran a bit smooth. So, uh, I'm not sure... I think I might want to test it out on Retro Arch. I might get a different result. But uh, I'll just see how things go. But besides that, I actually had a lot of fun playing this game. So, I might actually do a walkthrough. Um, truthfully, just um, since I just finished all the first area, there's only four areas, so I'll just pretty much do the first one. If I do come back to it again, I'll just continue on to the next part here. So I had a lot of fun playing this. So I'm gonna quickly just save, unlike Crash that, oh no, no, not Crash, um, uh, Rayman that get, gave me an error. I actually had a lot of fun playing this. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pretty much quit the game. Okay, but that was a lot of fun, actually. That was a lot of fun. So, in the next video, I'm going to do a few more tests, actually. I'm, I actually want to test, test it on RetroArch, see how it works. But, regardless, I actually had a lot of fun playing this game. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want me to test out another PlayStation emulator, let me know in the comments below. I'll do a video on it. And, uh, yeah, uh, this was actually fun. As all, But, anyways, guys, as always, this has been your boy, Brother Shield. Take care and peace. bitube.tv